Hello everyone at YouTube.com, this is Legend Bound here. I'm back to you guys once again with another YouTube video. Here I have Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft officially released for the mobile platform, both Android and iOS. And if you're looking for the download link, it will be down in the description. But please check, stick around for the new updated interface. I apologize for the small screen I recorded on my phone and for some reason the software was being weird, but I could not wait to show you guys. We can see right here that we're opened up into the software. I've already I've already logged in and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and select my brand new card back from Ragnaros. I'm gonna go ahead and click done on that. This is all good and fine right here and we're gonna open up the quest. We can see that the nice quest menu, best arena key, everything there. Not a whole lot to do. Right here, we're gonna open up the pack menu. I don't have any packs, so we're gonna go ahead and back away, back back into it, and then we're gonna decide that we're gonna go ahead and, and pur purchase a pack so you can see the new animation all together. Now, I apologize for the laggy gameplay as I was recording on my Android phone, and that can get a little bit jittery sometimes. Here we can see the nice animations for the new Naxxramas, or for the old Naxxramas and the new Black Rock Mountain expansion packs, and it's just very cool right here. If I tap myself on the treasure chest in just a moment, then we can see right here what everything looks like. Uh, the cards that you get and uh, just the nice you are. So we're going to go ahead and happen, open into the cards. Going to go ahead and uh, check out each little menu we got going on right here. Unfortunately, it doesn't shake around like in the PC version. If you click on the 40 packs, it just plops them right down. We're going to go ahead and click on buy right here. Purchase complete. And then... Um, we're going to go ahead and head back and we're going to go ahead and play our animation right here. Pretty cool. Still loving it. I just love the UI. I'm going to show the in-game UI right after I finish uh, checking out the thing. Now right here, it kind of like lines the cards up in a line. You can scroll through them and you click on each one individually. It's not as effective as in the PC version, but it's definitely intuitive. No doubt about it. Now I'm not sure how I feel about the boards and you'll see that in a little bit and you can see me scroll right through. Um... So we'll go ahead and exit our little menu, uh, and you, uh, now we're going to check out my collection. After I accidentally click on the shop, whoops, and we're going to go ahead and back and into my collection. Right here, we can see that we've opened up our nice little book. Up at the top, we can switch around between the classes. We have the filters, which you select a mana amount, but we're first going to go over to Stall King. And then we're going to go to filters, and you could just tap on any number to show you exactly how much mana it has. Toggle on and off different things, which cards you want to see if you click on the crafting menu, but there's not a whole lot to see here. I'm going to go ahead and click on done in just a minute. I've, okay, I went ahead and made a new deck right here to show you guys that you can just drag card, cards on and on just like it should be if it's intuitive. Uh, not very difficult, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the druid right here because that's where like the majority of like all my cards are so right there we go ahead and drag in everything that we need right there, there's a little bit of lag but that's because the recording software the ui is great i quickly drag everything over and uh yep yeah, just going to continue to drag and you can see that in a moment i'll try to pull a card off and you'll see that I just pull it right out do 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 yeah, I kind of get tired of putting cards in there. I'm like, screw this. I'm not going to finish all 30. I'll just like get to 24, 25. 25. I went ahead and swipe through right there. Pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, scroll back for the, or, uh, swipe back. I want to say no. You guys know how to do that in the regular game. You just don't need to show me. Uh, right here, it's time for the end game interface. The true prize of all. I'll actually go, no, never mind. Right after I do the solo adventures. Uh, right here we have Naxxramas, you know, everything, Black Rock Mountain. I'm gonna play a little bit of text right here. I'll just like, let this go on in the background. Now, if you were actually using, using this in the app, you would be able to hear everything. They'd be uh, Black Rock Mountain stuff. Just gonna check this out for a moment, just momentarily. And we're good to go. And skip ahead a little bit. We are back and we're going to click on ranked and we're just going to continue going on. Finding the opponent. If you run out of quests, you come back tomorrow. Now, this game I will not be fully recording because I'm just going to go silent. But if you're still interested in seeing how the game ends up, feel free to continue watching and just watch the UI as it works its magic.
And right here we find our opponent. Pretty standard stuff. It's going to go ahead and, you know, do a standard freeze up with that last few little bit when it finds an opponent. You know, just like in the regular thing. All right, right here we're the opponent. And we are good. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of lowdown of what everything is going on. I'm just figuring out for the first time as well, so I'll just let, let, let you guys know. You just tap, you know, well, pretty standard stuff. But everything is kind of zoomed in. You can only see two of the camps, top right and top left, for the standard maps. And we're going to go ahead and take this setup right here. Um, everything is kind of like zoomed in. If you see that um, later on in the video, I go ahead and tap down at the bottom right where you can see the smoke just coming out of that smokestack house right there. Pretty straightforward and simple. You can still tap it and everything. And if you tap on the screen, then you still get the little, the, the nice dirt coming up. I was trying to zoom out. And it's just, all the cars are pushed over to the side. You can see your mana count. But if you tap over there on your side little card area, you can't just drag things over. You tap on it, like pulls up an interface right here. And I kind of got a little bit scared of that. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? So I, and I didn't have it turn my place anyway. Uh, I tap on it back again in a little bit, and you can see that the mana is over on the right, and then you can tap on the cards in order to see what they are. It's kind of like their zoomed in thing. I actually do like the UI. I just don't like how they like left a little bit of the building in. I feel like they could have, I don't know, fixed up a little bit more Blizzard. Like, I expect a little bit more for you. All the values are increased. You can still have the same amount of minions on the board, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you're still interested in figuring out how all this ends, by all means, chill out, but I'm going to go ahead and go silent. Uh, and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.